A, tw a twist to the scandal engulfing the firearm licensing authority. Threats of legal action being issued at the government. Three officers from the authority were recently dismissed from the agency may end up taking legal action. The three who are from the audit department are claiming wrongful dismissal. TVJ's Vashon Brown has the primetime news follow-up. On Monday, the Firearm Licensing Authority, FLA, revealed that six people separated from the agency this month as the probe intensified into reports that gun licenses were possibly granted to criminals. Now, three of the dismissed employees may take legal action. Their former senior director in charge of audit and complaints, Michael Dixon, as well as Andrew Gordon and Milton Reed. John Juno is the attorney representing the men. They approached us on the weekend and we took some preliminary instructions yesterday. Um, they've also visited with the contractor general to whom they have given certain documents. Um, essentially, their instructions would seem to lead to the fact that they're being victimized. Victimized because as auditors, they raised serious concerns about some transactions relating to some gun licenses. The evidence is pointing to the fact that because of raising these issues, they have been dismissed. That would, in fact, be contrary to the terms of their employment, bearing in mind that although on contract, the contract does refer to the public service regulations as well as to the FLA's own manual. But Mr. Juno says the first step is not to go to court. He wants to first try the route of a settlement. If that doesn't quite work out, then the matter could become a wrongful dismissal case. You could have an intervention, we would hope to, by the Ministry of Labour in the matter in an attempt to conciliate and, and settle. But failing that, we, if we feel very strongly about this matter, and we will advise our clients accordingly. And the ultimate is to end up in the court. Vashan Brown, TVJ News. A top story this evening, 1,000 and counting. Murders up by almost 25%. Still ahead, narrow escape. Kingston residents barely make it out with their lives after a house collapses. And in business news, back to the skies. Fly Jamaica resume normal operations. We'll be right back.